Okay, the way of course to understand MLA in practice in the reference list is to go ahead and give it some examples. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have a list in the reference list. So again, keep in mind this is your reference list that's at the end of your dissertation, at the end of your thesis, or at the end of your research paper. How do you order things? So if we look here, we've got an order of Lazarus, Lazar, Lazarus, Lazarus, Smith, and Smith. Now obviously something's wrong here, right? Because we've got Lazarus Richard and Lazarus Arnold. Now those are different people. Which one goes first in the list? Which one goes second in the list? Depends on the alphabetical order and including the first name if we need to include that. Smith, Mary, Smith, Daryl. So obviously we have a problem here. The correct way to do this would be Lazarus. It's the same Lazarus. Of course, of course L comes before S. But then A comes before R. And then down here we have D comes before M. So just keep in mind that you want to be following the names at the point where they differ. So if it's the same, then they get right next to each other, but then who is first, who is last? It depends on what's next in their name. Let's look at some examples of specific MLA reference list entries. So we have here Old, James, and Peter Milner. Positive reinforcement produced by electrical stimulation of septal areas and other regions of rat brains. So that's going to be the title of the paper. And it's inside the journal, Journal of Comparative and Psychological Psychology, volume 47, number 6. And here is the page number. What we can see is we have the problem is right here, the date. This is the MLA's uh, method. I should say MLA is not to put it this way. This is the APA's method is to put it there, right? In the MLA, this goes down at the end. So let's look at the correct way. And we can see that it's right down here. So we have the author, first author, second author, the name of the paper, the name of the journal. Then we have the information about the journal, like the volume and the number. And in between commas, we have the date. Very simple, very straightforward. Here we have some entries. And we have Hilgard, Permac, and Permac. But here we run into a special case. And I, I think this is a great opportunity to pay attention because this actually happens fairly often. In this case, we have the same author, Permac David, but he writes papers with different people, or sometimes he writes multiple papers, but they happen to be the same year. So here, the H, Hilgard, Hilgard is before Permac, so that's okay, check. Permac David, Permac David, we have a little bit of a problem. These are both the same all the way up until you get to the quotation mark, and then we have the name of the paper. And that's where we begin to compare. So it is right here where we say, are they different? And here we have an R, and then in the next one we have a P. And in fact, if we follow the MLA guideline, because these names are exactly the same twice, we actually should be using three hyphens. So in this case, we have the uh, Hilgard, and then the Permac, and then the Permac David. So here we have Permac David, and then Permac David, and the second time we use it, we should have three hyphens. Now, of course, that still doesn't change the fact that R comes after the P. That's the key point here. And I just want to remind you that if you actually follow the MLA in your final 
reference list, you should be using this kind of three hyphens for any exact repeats in the name. So we'll see more of this later, but right now when I'm trying to teach it to you, I'm writing the names out to make it more clear. Here we have another list. Let's look at this reference list here. So we've got a Hirsch helmet, a Hirsch helmet. And if we look here, we have two that are the same up until the end of their name. Then we have an and, E and Spinelli. Oh, this is a great example. And all the way to the second author, we have the exact same case. Same first author, same second author. But where is the difference? The difference comes in the first letter of the title of the research paper in this case. And here we need to follow the idea of M comes before V. M is before V. So we need to order it based on that. Here's another example, Gibson James. And then down here we have Gibson Eleanor. So this is a little bit more straightforward, right? James Eleanor. So the correct order would be Eleanor E is first and J James is second. Mahoney Michael, Mahoney Michael, and Mahoney Michael. So this is a great example, one, two, three. Exactly the same name. This is probably the same author, which is very normal. You can have the same author, the same author at the beginning, but here, look, we got at all. What does this mean? It is Mahoney Michael. He's the same author, but in this case, his paper is with multiple authors, three or more. And in this case, it's with three or more. Now, if we were doing something like APA, we would see those other authors because in APA, the reference list, you list the authors, but in MLA, you don't do that. In N MLA, Style Guide states that three or more, you make it at all, even in the reference list. So how do we know how to continue? Well, we just move on to the next part. We try to find out where the differences occur. So to correct this, we have Mahoney. Mahoney and Mahoney repeated multiple times, right? But this one here, Mahoney Michael J, has no more authors after it. But the other Mahoney's have at all. So this follows the rule of nothing, nothing must be smaller than something. It's kind of a tricky little idea, very easy to forget. I often miss it myself. So because there are no at alls, they're gonna line up first. The at alls are gonna go together after this. And then how do we arrange them? We arrange them where they begin to be different, which is the title of the article, E and R. E comes before R, thus we have our ordering like this. Now, one thing I can, po I can point out is right in here, we would actually use three hyphens, no space, because it's an exact repeat. So whenever you have an exact repeat, you're going to go ahead and use three hy hyphens in the MLA guidelines. I want to keep it written out here to just uh, let you see very clearly who is going first, who is going second. But in reality, when you make your list, you will use three hyphens for any exact repeat in your name.